Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Definitely wanna show you guys this car. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. We will be talking about this M3. It's supercharged, it's an E36, and we'll be talking with the owner here real quick. How long have you had this car for? I've uh, had it uh, since 2001. 2001? 2001. Wow. You're the second owner, I'm assuming? Uh, yeah, I'm the second owner. Okay. Got, gotten it from a friend of mine at work. So since 2001, that's what, how many years? Uh, 20 years guys that's awesome and i mean looking looking at the car you've really kept it in really really good shape um and when you first got it was it bone stock yeah very bone stock so it's bone stock when i first received it and then you know waited till the warranty ran out and then i slowly added pieces on it so i started with the diamond kit you know stage one then i went to stage two and then finally it just did the stage three supercharge in 2005. So how did you go about building this car? In 2005 I opened a performance lounge and you can't have a shop without a car. So that's when I started building the car. So 2005 up to 2000, I would say 18 is when this car was actually somewhat finished. Okay, so let's talk about these wheels here. Tell me a little bit about them. Basically, these are Fixie. These are like the only one in the United States, or the only one they made. What size are, the, uh, are those? 18 by eight and a half in the front, 18 by nine and a half. Nine and a half in the rear. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. And I love the orange caliper. Yeah, that was my design. That was your design, nice. I was actually gonna do the brake kit Raptor. Uh huh. With a guy in Canada, but he disappeared. <laughs> so we did the front. He was gone. Nice. And the color, is this the original color? Original paint. And what, what, do you know the name of this paint? Avis Blue. Avis Blue? Nice. This looks really, really good. I like to build cars that are sleepers. So when you look okay. at this car, it looks like a sleeper. Yeah. You know, because a lot of my friends wanted me to change the tail light and the side marker. They wanted to change the front to clear. But I told them I wanted it to be a sleeper car. Uh, what about the interior then? Um, when I had the show, um, we had all the leather imported from Germany, so that's original BMW leather um, with the double stitching. Uh, we did, you know, the custom gauges. We did the Euro steering wheel with the Dalcantara roof liner, Dalcantara deck in the back, and I just added in the Continental. Um, Unit. Yeah, that looks almost like OEM. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thanks. What have you done to the exhaust? What kind of exhaust do you have on it? Is it stock? Oh, no, no stock exhaust here. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was I ended up getting headers, shorty headers, uh, back in the days when Jet Hot was making them and it was coming ceramic coated. So mm -hmm. I got that at the steel. And then um, Active, who I represent, um, we end up doing the track pipe and then the race exhaust. The track pipe basically frees up a lot of flow. And, you know, because even when I had done that and I had done the gas, uh, head gasket, I'd gain like 20 horsepower. Wow. You know, when we had tuned it the first time with that mod. Is it pushing now? Uh, crank. To the crank or to the wheels? To the crank. To the crank. I calculated it's about 587. 580. I'm assuming you probably don't know it's the wheels because we did talk earlier about this car going on the dyno. Yes. Okay. So we're yet to figure those numbers out and you guys stay tuned for that for the next video. Let's move on to the hood and see what you got in there. Nice. Oh, this looks beautiful. So what I ended up doing was I ended up going with the dining supercharger. So that was the stage three on their kit. And then after you start getting used to horsepower, you become a boost junkie. So what I ended up doing was upgrading. So I ended up upgrading the supercharger um, with the pulleys. 
I did the after cooler from RMS and then we changed out the injectors. So right now we're running 60 pound injectors. Um, we did the head. So what I did, I did the fully built head from Metric Mechanic. Wow. And it had some trick cams in there. Um, and my favorite piece is uh, the European diesel truck fan. So it builds a lot of CFM, so this way you don't have to worry about overheating or anything like that. Oh, and also we did water meth. Oh, you did water meth. And that's in the trunk, right? Right, and the nozzle's here. The nozzle's right there. Nice. Can we check out the uh, the trunk? Yeah. Here. That's clean. Oh yeah, that's a clean setup. It looks really good though. Oh, thanks. Yeah. So you were talking about the gauges and we completely missed that for the interior, but go ahead and talk about the gauges. All right, so for the gauges, I wanna keep everything subtle and hidden. So there's seven gauges in the car. So what I've done was hide them uh, from my friend, JDM Design up in New York. So he is just crazy with his installs. So we have one in the mirror, and we have six down here. Oh, wow. So those gauges down here are from SPA Technique. My friend Matt had gotten them to me at a really good deal. So I decided to go with them and he had taken pictures and everything. I guess we can go out and uh, take a ride in this. Yes. See how it feels and talk about just the drive in general. Than I, that's or, where a lot of guys, you know, 
with a turbocharger you tend to want more. Yeah. With this you kind of like you can get but so more yeah. so far, but with the turbos like guys turning them up, doing more, adding more, and you know what ends up happening depending on you know who has it, they blow them up. Gotcha. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. So I guess the supercharger does it run hotter than the turbo? No. Or, no? Okay. Yeah, this one has an after after cooling. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Plus the water, man. Yeah. You can hear the cam, the chop, the choppiness of it. it sounds really good. You want to get a few revs in? Sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, this thing looks really good. Sounds great. Feels really good. Drives really good. Um, so yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to give thanks to all the mechanics that put their hands on the car, which is Strike up in New York, TJ up in New York, TKX Performance. We have uh, JDM Designs, which is Juan Morales. He's the one that did all the crazy gauges and things like that. So I want to shout them out and everybody else who put a hand on it. I really appreciate it. Guys, it's crazy hot today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This was awesome. If you guys have any more questions, you can hit up uh, Gary. I'll leave his Instagram in the description below. So you guys you know, can DM him, follow him, check out more of the car on his Instagram. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Obviously, if you guys want to see more of this car, the next video is probably going to be this car and the dyno and you know possibly the clk as well so yeah stay tuned for that and i'll catch you guys in the next video you have All anything right. to say yes guys thanks for watching and tune in follow and subscribe